Welcome back to another edition of Fly Tying for Beginners. And today we're going to tie a large green caddis larva. I have a size 8 to extra long nymph hook in the vise and it has a 3 millimeter bead on there. And the beads you could get from my website. I offer 50 per package. I'm going to use 15 thousandths lead free wire. And we're going to wrap the shank. I want to make sure that the nymph gets down, the larva gets to the bottom in among the rocks and fill that up and push that right in there and it will go right inside the bead. And we trim off the back there. We're going to use black thread going to start the thread in back of the lead wraps and I'm going to make a little bit of a taper here going up the lead wraps and put a couple of wraps on the lead and bring that thread back to the back once again we're going to put the rib in and I have a fine black wire this is UTC and I'm going to start it on the opposite side and secure that now for the body we're going to use this is just a fancy feather I got this feather it's dyed green and this is from the hobby shop came with a I believe it's probably goose fit, uh, quill and it came with a whole bunch of different colors and this is a very good uh, color and feather for the fly that we're going to be making. And I, I took uh, several barbels of the quill. We're going to tie them in by the tip and there's probably at least a half a dozen quill barbels here and we're going to bring our thread up to the top stop about one bead in back of the bead I'm going to take a little bit of head cement and I'm going to put some head cement on the shank that's not real necessary because we're going to have the let the copper wire or the black wire to secure it and we're going to wrap this I got one strand peeling and go ahead and trim that off and we're going to wrap that forward okay that one strand is peeling all the way so I'm just going to pull that right out of it and you don't have to overlap any just make sure that you get all of it covered I'm going to bring that right up to the front one eye behind or one bead length behind the bead turn that sideways make it a little easier access for me and I'm going to trim that excess I'm going to take that black wire and I'm going to counter wrap. Counter wrap being the opposite direction that I wrap everything else. You're going to get segments with this and you're also going to secure the quill material. and tie that in and I'm gonna bring that thread back now you can take the extra and you can cut it off or you can this is called helicoptering and it just breaks right off 
Now I'm going to take a single black ostrich hurl and I'm going to tie that in. You want a decent length one. The previous fly of these I made, I broke it several times. We're going to take that black ostrich hurl and we're going to wrap. This is going to be the legs. And now we're going to take our black ostrich hurl and we're going to wrap that for the legs. And when you wrap this, you have your hackle pliers on there. Don't put too much tension on it because it will break your ostrich hurl. Make sure you select a large ostrich hurl so you get the long barbels and therefore you have long legs on there. And wrap that right up to the bead. And secure that there. Take that excess and just pluck it off. Take your whip finisher. Pull that tight. Take your head cement and carefully put head cement on the thread. You don't want to hit your legs, so getting it on the bead is not a problem. It's going to dry clear. Now we're going to take a black permanent marker and we're going to color the top. This is their camouflage to blend in with the rocks when they're crawling around on the bottom. But that belly, when they're dislodged, that belly is really green. And here we have a giant green caddis larva. Hope that you learned something from this video. Hope that you would subscribe to my channel. Please refer me to your friends, leave comments, questions, suggestions, and most of all, thank you very much for watching my videos.